Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Luna! Let's see how much money we're going to get for that uh, Dragon Diamond. <laughs> how do you know about that smell part? Oh, yeah, that, that would be a problem. Yeah, this rock, I've had it up my ass for two years. Um, ah, there we go. I was like, wait, what, what, why didn't the dialogue just advance there? Okay, there we go. Okay, now it's advancing. Well, shouldn't that be kind of important for people to know in case we ever need another Dragon Master? Wow! That's a lot of money. 20,000? Hell yeah, I'll take that! Alright! Looks like your dream of being rich is finally coming true, Remus. All we gotta do is wait for him to get the money and... Well, yeah, it is a lot of money. Yeah, probably. I'm sure he'll be coming out of the back room any minute now. Any minute now. Eh. Oh. Yeah, it is taking him a while. What's going on? Nuts. Well, where could he have gone? I mean, that's just a storeroom. Oh. Yeah, he is kind of in charge around here, so. Nuts. Well, how many other places? possibly buy a diamond from us. Okay, well, anyway, yeah, yeah, we, uh... Do you have to talk to Master Mel? I don't know, now that I think about it. But we're going to, anyway. So, okay, uh, now that we've got Remus back, we want to buy some final equipment for him. I think this is the most th episodes that it's taken me to buy equipment from one town. But, anyway, okay, uh, let's see, we want to get the Battle Bow for Luna there. And I'm a little short on money to buy the second one. So, sell all that. Let's get rid of your old battle bow. There we go. Just barely enough money to buy everything with the two soaps. Hopefully, for the remainder of the game, uh, this will not, or budgeting will not be as much of an issue. Save after fighting Master Mal, or not save, heal up after fighting Master Mal. That would be a really good idea. Man, Alex was almost beaten half to death by an old man who was holding back on him. That is sad, Alex. But anyway, let's talk to Mal. Yeah! Well then why the hell haven't you arrested him already? Oh, nuts. Well, what do you mean? We're not going to have to go through one of the hardest dungeons in the game to do it, are we? <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to do this on our own, folks. So, this part is hard. Oh, I'm going to make it look easy, but the uh, first time you do this, yeah, it's a little hard. I accidentally went back inside somehow. You just can't stay away from the Mel Master. But anyway, okay, so now let's uh, go back to uh, Dross's shop and take him in. I'm just gonna arrest him? Citizen's arrest or something? Taking the law into your own hands. Uh, oh, we could talk to her again. Well, your, your boss is kind of gone. I, I don't think you're on the payroll anymore. How'd you get back here? Ah, secret passage! Well, it looks like you waited a little too long there. Ha ha. Uh, well, he's not stealing from us, so I wouldn't worry about it. 
Yeah, we gotta get our Dragon Diamond back. Through the Meridian Sewers. Of course, just like every good JRPG, you have to have an obligatory, overly large, overly spacious sewer dungeon. Absolutely. But anyway, to get through this dungeon, little mechanic, you just press the switch, it lowers the drawbridge there, so pretty easy. So yeah, not like the first dungeon with that uh, Yeti thing, whatever. Yeah, this dungeon is much more forgiving. Actually, let's see, okay, let's use Explosion Staff on the middle one there. But yeah, uh, that mechanic in the first dungeon, that's about as bad as it gets. All the other dungeons, what any puzzles they have, relatively benign. So yeah, use an explosion staff, there you go. The way I'm going to go through this dungeon is I'm going to make two trips through here, so I'm not really worried about conserving my MP. On the second trip, just use your physical attacks on them. But yeah, for this trip, not really uh, need to worry about conserving your MP. This dungeon's a bit longer than the other ones, so if you fight every single enemy out, out in here in your first trip, you will run out of MP. You, it's just... Yeah, these enemies have quite a bit of HP relative to your power level at this point, so. Yeah, the other problem with this dungeon is that we... Uh, what is it? We don't have the money to really buy starlights to solve our money problems, so... Yeah. That can be a problem. So, yeah, that's why I recommend making two trips through this dungeon. Okay, we got a new enemy here. Uh, these uh, Fatal Hoppers here. Uh, these guys, uh, Temptation Song, would actually be pretty useful against. Uh, pretty much all of the other enemies... Uh, T -T Temptation Song can work, but it's just really not useful. Because there's just not as many of them. Yeah, there we go. Three out of four. Not bad, not bad. See, let's hit that one and have the other two go after the one up front there we go so yeah what i recommend doing on the first trip is you see you saw those fish jumping out of the water there i'd recommend killing all of them on your first trip because you can pretty much avoid them really easily on your second trip so that way you don't waste all your mp for the end of the dungeon but yeah pretty simple there Okay, so yeah, just, okay, this fifth path here, fifth from the left, is the one that leads to the end of the dungeon. We can't go there because the bridge is out. Okay, careful. There we go. Let's see. Okay, now what we gotta do is find... Oh. Oh, right, it's up there. I was like, wait a minute, did I forget a switch? Yes, I did, but it's right here. There's another switch that I do need to hit. Right there. There we go. Yeah, that guy's gonna come back. Let's show off another new enemy. Is it gonna be all of them, or... No, just one of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, now these guys got quite a bit of HP. Uh, they are resistant to fire. I mean, look at them, they're a huge ball of flame, but we don't have any fire magic, so... I don't think the Sega CD version really had elemental weaknesses and resistances like this game does. I mean, they do have fire magic and ice magic and lightning magic, but uh, for the most part, yeah, it's just raw magical damage. It's not uh, any actual uh, weaknesses there. Ramus gained a level, but got nothing for it. Oh, well. But anyway... Okay, so we lowered that bridge. One more. Uh, let's see. Heal up there. For the last enemy, you want to be at... Or the last random... Well, not really a random enemy, but... Careful. There we go. Go, go, go! Okay. Yeah, you want to try and keep Alex's HP up if you can. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was easier than I thought it would be. Uh, game. There we go. Lots of treasure around here. Now this guy, 
is is pretty in okay you see the guy in the middle there that's the guy we want to go after because if you don't kill him he will kill you with an attack that hits all your party members yeah unfortunately the enemies get access to aoe's well, not so much before we do but uh we don't have nash right now so and we do have the uh that explosion staff ability, but, uh... Oh, I should have healed up Alex. Well, he'll be fine. But yeah, I'm... I'm out of MP. I can't use explosion staff anymore. Oh, well. Uh, let's go after that one. Heal up Alex, and go there. There we go. I hope you like Luna's singing, viewers, because you're going to be hearing that a lot during battle. All right, go Ramus! Okay, well, that's all the new enemies around here, so what I would recommend doing is killing all the enemies in the first half of the dungeon, go out, heal up at the statue, Come back in here, just run past all the enemies to get here, and then we'll do the rest of the dungeon. Fortunately, I've already cleared all the enemies and done all that. So let's just uh, skip down to that. There we go. Yeah, it takes a while to kill all these enemies, especially the fishes. But as long as you got that temptation song, that'll take care of most of them. And then I just well, ran past them to get this far. Normally, there'd be a whole bunch of these evil wisps and ammonias around here, but I've already killed all of them. So. Is there anything up here? No. No, okay. Well, anyway, there's a treasure in the upper right there, but we can't get to it. If only there were a way that we could get up to that chest there, but sadly, we cannot. Oh, well. But anyway, let's go collect some treasure here first. There we go. Haha! -ha! Got your corner now. Where were you gonna go anyway from here? What do you mean by that? How hard could it possibly be to get out of here? Whoa! Holy crap! He's got a. Well, not one of the dragons, but a dragon with him. He's got his own pet dragon? Nuts. But can we defeat Dross's pet dragon in the Meridian sewers? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!